So I am Cameron McAllister, a CSU Chico student and a local poet. Have sharpened pencils ever been on your minds after you swallow down a painful conversation with somebody you didn't really want to have it with? How about every day with every conversation? Um, and what made me want to attend this event would be the mental health aspect of it. Like a child's first colored pencil drawing only with your esophagus as their canvas. Something so innocent inflicting such intense agony. Stomach stuck on stuck. Heartstrings feel the same. Playing the same song. The same song. The same song. What inspires my art? It's a good question. Um, usually intense emotions of some sort. Um, something I'm not very good at being quick on my toes with like verbal you know um, like I'm not a very good arguer and things like that I usually have to write out kind of like my argument have like a basis and you know facts that I can relate or at least check back to so that's kind of why I write is like I'm this is intense and I you know I can't really put like a word to it but I could probably write about it and it becomes a little bit more real and not as overwhelming it's kind of on paper now Repetition starts to warm your chest where wheels keep spinning and you become all too familiar with what losing traction feels like. A fraction has become more acceptable than the whole. Uncomfortable conversations keep reappearing like updates for a computer. You keep clicking, clicking, clicking. So I'm also a psychology student uh, studying abnormal psychology as well as biological psychology and there's just a ton of research that says that mental illness is real and that the stigma behind it uh, kind of keeps it in the shadows and similar thing with um, substance abuse so I'm kind of all for anything that's proactive in the sense that um, it's kind of shedding light on those stigmatized mental illnesses so yeah do what you can <laughs> But the windows keep reappearing, and you stare out, hoping there isn't, isn't anyone you will have to talk to. Stomach stuck on stuck, heartstrings feeling the same. Continually ignoring incoming calls from a loving family who all just want to tell you that they love you. But your hearing is compromised by your callous index finger. Can't fathom explaining that you've already done your journaling and you can't bear to feel any more sharpened pencils in your chest today. My insides can relate, so they draw the blinds. One of the reasons why I started doing spoken word poetry was I had a few different um, unhealthy coping styles. When I kind of cut that out and found like new outlets, um, one of the things was writing and that was I mean, really really helpful with you know i guess you could call it the issues that i was dealing with so only a small candle giving my pad light and i write vigorously but i seem to be stuck on the same word goodbye adopting goodbye for hello saying hello to goodbye inviting everyone into my pencil scattered living room sticking my hand out and greeting them with goodbye I never wanted you here. Saying leave, but meaning stay. I'm saying leave, but I mean stay. I have to ask myself, like, why am I nervous? Usually it's because how people are going to see you, and, you know, that's not really why everyone's here. And, you know, you got to take a deep breath. But for the most part, I mean, I'm happy to be here and help out any way I can. So if that's performing and doing what I like to do, then that's simple. <laughs> Stomach is stuck on stuck, heartstrings feel the same, captive foreigner in a box where stigma keeps you cold at night. A blanket laid over you by someone else is what you really need, but reaching out is impossible to do when you're already asleep. In the morning, I wake up with sunglasses on because my eyelids are just as dark and I like to match or detach, one of the two. Oh, that's one thing I really wish I, I had in a had as a skill would be any musical inclination, but I, I have a guitar. I know how to play like, you know, four or five string or chords and um, yeah, but I don't, so. When a chemically induced casket is where you sleep at night, you exchange those sleeping bags under your bed for the sleeping bags under your eyes. It's hard to wake up and begin thinking when all I can think of is how I don't have to think of anything when I'm asleep. 
connect the dots and one can understand why it's the cousin of death. Sunshine seems to be forgotten when you rest your head beneath this family's tree. For more information on our stories, you can go to theorion.com.